That's good. That's good. What's up, first gang? I'm Tash First, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join the game. So for this portion of the vlog, it is sponsored by Ali Gray. So Ali Gray, thanks for sponsoring this video. I'll be installing this beautiful, luscious, reddish brown unit. I'll be installing from start to finish. You see how I achieved this and how I achieved these curls, which I'm so proud of. Without further ado, let's get into this install. <laughs> I find it the best way to have your lace laying very flat is to add foam it on the mannequin head. Y'all see how flat it is? Can I cut the ear tabs? I also cut the hair in three sections because it's easier for application. And I'm using the ghost band glue. Okay, we're gonna do this section first. Now I'm gonna blow dry it so it can get clear. Uh, I need another clip to hold this all right. I'm going to do a second layer. And blow dry that as well. Now I'm going to use my Ali Grace band and tie it down the wig. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Okay, I think we're looking decent. I'm gonna use my tiny scissors and cut away the excess lace. Enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. I'm trying to cut in a zigzag motion. Somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. I don't have my ear style in mind, so I'm just going to curl it. But first, let's get some edges on her, Miss Ariel. So I did some baby hair off camera and just tied it back down. But now I'm going to add some curl. This is a body wave wig, so this is how it look all brushed out. So I'm actually aiming for some big curls. So I'm using, I think this is my biggest barrel from my curling one. And let me just say, I'm not good at curling hair, okay? <laughs> I found my 
was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. And this is it for the finished look. I am loving it. Like, I actually did not do bad with the curls. Let me tell you a little tip. Curl away from the face when you're going um, towards the front. And for the back, I do towards and away from the face. So it kind of like more volume. Give this kind of luscious kind of look. I am in love with it. I am loving it too. So if you like this unit, the direct link will be down below. Don't forget to check it out. And there will be a discount code because when I eat, y'all eat. And I make no commission from it, okay? So let's get back to the vlog. Today she's here with me. <laughs> TT in the building. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be having all the girls chat. You guys sent some questions and I will be targeting some to Tavion. Yes. But well, first, oh yeah, this is part one of many parts. It's like a series. I don't have a name for it as yet. I'm not sure if I want to give it a name. But yeah, let me know. So Tav, tell me a little about yourself. Well, my name is Tavia Telfer, as I don't know, probably you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do YouTube and I post pics on Instagram, fun pics, and I do TikTok as well. My niche is me i am my niche my lifestyle is my niche i show what i'm about and what i'm interested in also i'm a boy mom my son's name is emma i'm in a relationship and i am 21 years old yeah. i was born in december if anybody's wondering so she's 22 soon 22 soon yeah 22 okay the first question because it's skincare and top now wear the makeup you know like the skin is skinning so let's ask you the first skincare question like it's for you yeah if you could only pick five of your current skincare products and the rest has to go, what would you pick? And she ha she have a lot of skincare items. So please, funny enough, we were talking about this yesterday. Yeah. Let's make. Is it mixed like skincare and makeup? Uh, no, just skincare. Skincare. No makeup. Okay, five. And the rest have to go in and I'll have them back again. In five. That's tough, but I can pick some because I have my go tos. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know we try, but we have our go tos. If you guys want to show them, I'm showing them. Yeah, I'm gonna get my five, my top five. Yes. I'm pretty sure this is Caudalie. This is like Restore, Resver, I don't know. Restorable. Res Restorable. Anyway, a lifting yeah, thing. Don't <laughs> Theorem lift and, and it also has retinol in it. This, this will definitely be like a top five. This is my Cosarex Mucin Snail. Oh, I did that talk. Yeah. Oh. Cosarex, mousse and snail, um, moisturizer, just like a moisturizer with snail thing. Then, this is also, this helps with pores. I just started using this. I love, 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 love this. I hope you guys are seeing it so you can screenshot or whatever it is that you guys want to do. Helps with pores. What's Everything. the brand for this? And, oh, oh, same, oh same the same thing. brand. And then this vitamin C is from L'Oreal. I recently started using this. Chef's Kiss. I never know that vitamin c could actually work like you could see a right, difference you could see a change yeah. with it i'll just put vitamin c on my face just because i know that it's supposed to be done that this made me see changes in my face and i saw someone on tiktok using it so i decided to give it a try so you use the different vitamin c before this before and this one actually this one is actually i see changes yeah. yeah i used i think i used three different brands before that's the one that i stick to it and then oh, i'll show you guys that that's already and then the this exfoliant from paula's choice but six if i kill i'm gonna put um ordinary all, nice all six coming but there. i don't need it because this does the same thing okay being that we're talking about skincare let's move on to the next question this is from a guy actually most do habits for high value women like go into detail example dieting and so forth even though let Habit me say for, yeah because uh, Tapa always say you do what works for you, especially when it comes down to on TikTok. You say, Oh, you must do this if you want to be this person, you must do this if you want to have this kind of life, you must do this if you want to attract this kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Please, everybody, I think different things work for them. And every, every, someone, two people can have two different types of high value, if you know. What so, what do you think would be like the basic stuff? Basics for me is health, gut, um, 
got it. Taking care of your skin is not no particular way to take care of your skin. Whatever if, works for you. If taking care of your skin is to just wash your face with water, then that's your thing and drink your water. And sunscreen. Right, sunscreen. Rest, enough rest, like sleep. Listen to your body, you never say tired. Yeah. Listen. Nobody got a party tonight, just rest. Just rest. Seriously. I know. What was the question again? Your teeth. Take care of your freaking teeth, please. Please take care of your mouth and a whole. Because when it gets to certain things, it ain't fun, honey. And let me tell you about it. <laughs> let let it. me take care of your mouth. It's very important. I know sometimes it can be like, easily oh, neglected. just tonight, easily neglected. Yeah. Like, oh, just tonight, I'm just going to make sure you brush your teeth every single night. Not only brush your teeth, but actually go to the dentist yeah, and get a cleaning, cleaning and, and your whitening, whatever it is. Two brush alone can't take out them and go up there. Trust me. Yeah, those are the basics for me, to me. And God. And God. So what about appearance, though? Other than skin What is appearance? What? Got it? Habits? Mm -hmm. Appearance to me is a skincare because appearance uh, i wouldn't put that under like a high value, high value thing related because to, like clothing because they would say high value men dress more modest or you know you're not you don't just do racy or anything like that that's no subjective. that's wrong that's that's so like subjective as i would say to just one type of person like you have a lot of different people some people that I know are very high value, they wear skippy shit, but they still keep it classy. Keep it classy, even though they're in like, you know, and it don't seem to have to be classy. A high value person don't have to be classy. It's, it, 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 it really don't come with like class, mm -hmm. you know? To me, personally, that don't come with class. They come with like your standard so, of yourself, believing in yourself, having that high standard for yourself and don't let anybody play with you like that. So you wouldn't agree that a high value man actually maintain or upkeep their appearance. Like, you know, going on the road, they make sure that your clothes is either pressed or it's clean. It's not no tear or no soil or... Yeah, but that, yeah, but that is uh, not a habit to me for like... Oh, not a high value habit. habit. Yeah, that's what's the question, right? the right habit for yeah. you. So I don't, I wouldn't put that under like a habit. That would just be something I want to do for myself because it's not really necessary to i would like to add um working out well because i've you always been a high value person high value woman to mm -hmm. myself but i wasn't necessarily just in the best all along mm -hmm. so yeah i agree true 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 but also what i want to add to all of those that i've said is exercise regardless if you're going to the gym you're making sure you do a walk something at home workout keep your body active no matter how young you be your body needs to be active I That's ain't active, but it's something I would add to my. You know, the, um, at home workout anymore. Child, I wish. I just, I just know if I did that for myself, like if I kept up with that, mm. my body would go crazy. But it's just so hard. Working out is really not my thing, and to find the time to do it, like maybe I should try something else. Probably swimming, and probably going for a walk, something different to keep probably. your body. Some kind of cardio. Yeah, probably. But who wants to live here every day? Not me. <laughs> Not me, child. <laughs> what do you do to boost your confidence and how often do you feel low self esteem? Repeat <laughs> the question as it is. I don't want to answer that question. You Can don't we want skip to? that question, please? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, I, what do I want to tell y'all about when I get low, child? Ooh, it be low. It be low. It be low. So boost your confidence. Like you're low and you're trying to boost your confidence. Yeah. You better boost he said, how many times do you like? fall off like you know you how often do you feel low self-esteem yeah you want to skip it yes okay okay no 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 it's not it's spicy yeah. okay okay, okay. Oh. um i feel like okay it's kind of it can be a sensitive topic yeah it can be a sensitive topic so <laughs> you're right yeah you see these are just not good i just saw me see that's cute yeah yeah as i was saying it can be like sensitive talk about but like that's very vulnerable for and me. i feel like the thing that most people realize we all go through it yeah not because somebody's an influencer not because they look perfect in your eyes physically or even mentally yeah. don't mean we are we, we, we all go through it yeah. beyonce i'm pretty sure she goes through yeah. everybody but everybody. don't make it such a taboo topic like oh she insecure oh no we all have insecurities we all feel low sometimes and the same yeah, thing i don't think they make it taboo i make it i think them i think they make it yeah 
like um how she insecure about it like mm -hmm. they try and make you feel even worse about and feeling feed that way about it yeah probably <laughs> feed off your pain oh, like, okay so how do you boost your confidence like starting there how do you boost it how do you boost me personally if i feel a way about something okay i avoid that's how i deal with everything avoiding to be honest that's how you boost your confidence yes like i avoid it avoid it yes okay for example let me see what me we don't want so she avoid and me i have to get down to it i have to find my source and my problem i have to figure out why it is that i'm feeling this way and attack it fix and attack it. it attack it fix it but suppose it's an ongoing thing like how do you fix it yeah that's what my said confidence in you know? yeah my thing was ongoing like when i, I fell off the other day if i'm being honest i fell off the other day with my confidence and i feel like people were just like making me kind of feel small about something that i know that and that's all. in myself i know says you that shit somebody can can be like you're not that serious mm. oh you're not that blah, 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 blah. You start questioning yourself you start be like probably i'm crazy for you or probably yeah, you know it, that's not really how it yeah probably i'm acting like it's something that it's not just tell yourself constantly that you are that even if you're living in that blue i feel like I feel like living in that delusion is important. I feel like that self confidence is important until you're actually there. Fake it till you make it, as some people say. So it's like, keep your delusion. Don't let anybody take it away from you. Keep it. Keep boosting yourself. Keep trying to so you that. boost your confidence by being delusional or, and also by attacking it first. I, I don't boost my confidence by being delusional. I feel like being confident is low key being kind of delusional. Yeah? Yeah. Like, Oh, I'm the shit. I'm the baddest in the. Well, you're not necessarily the baddest, mm. but. Oh, so you just give your personality that talk. You, Yeah, it's like a pep talk. And affirmation. It's like a. Yeah. Definitely. Like definitely. Definitely. You ate that. Yeah. So, that's what I think. It's, I, but for me to get out of that route, mm -hmm. to build back my confidence, is to attack my problem. Get into it. Can we get. Can we have an example, though? Probably like. Not even something. Not something close to the art example, but like. A big example. How oh, I dig into it. No, like something that you would attack. Okay. Like, would attack okay. It. Okay. For instance, that's that what you're talking about. Somebody, somebody trying to make you feel smaller than you actually are. Right? For example, like someone make a mean comment about something that. Uh, All right, for instance, they're okay. not giving a credit for it or something. Yeah, they see it, but they don't want to give you the credit, and they so try, try to make you feel. For example, to my friend, I have a friend that that um she have this person in her life. Every time they tell her some good news or something, they're like, oh, it's not that big, oh, it's not that serious. All right, so she tell this person to buy buy a buy a new car, right? Mm. And they're just like so excited, and they kept get ready, and they run go tell this person because this is their person, mm -hmm. and that person is just like. They eat a carrier, I'm gonna let the carrier. Look, when we can buy the ugly carrier, you don't need, you don't need a carrier right now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like, damn, buy a, we buy an idiot carrier. Something that you even really though you like, like so good exactly. about having this car, this person just makes like that feel like, damn, damn, I really buy a dumbass car. It's what not even, no, it's not even that you're thinking that, oh, you buy a dumbass car. It's just like, oh, you are up. It's like, you're over here. Like, them, them expect you to just be like, regular about it. Like you're not supposed to be excited or happy or feel like you accomplished something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because it's like, dumb. Yeah. So they they might claim say it's dumb. So now you feel like it's a way you buy it dumb and know you it's no longer of that big value to you yeah. because the this person, person don't make it small. Made it a small win instead of a big one. But all you attack that though, do you go to the person? No, you don't need to go to that person. That person no longer needs to know anything about you. That person no longer needs to know anything about you. So then you can keep your wins to yourself and you keep your your happiness to yourself and you live through your happiness and yeah. The ones that person is no longer in your ear, those wins are wins because nobody's there to tell you that it's no it's not that big. Mm. It's not that serious. Mm -hmm. Oh, you really think that you did that? Oh, you really feel like say anybody cares say you did that? You really feel like say nobody would have do that because you did that. Okay, honey. Mwah. <laughs> Understand. So, the next part of the question is How often do you feel low, like a low self esteem? I don't think I feel it often. I feel like once I get into it, it's in there and then it just either stays goes in. or it stays for a long while. Or it's not really like an in and out thing where 
I keep I can't say I can question myself. No, I'm I was always like a confident person. Went into my low and I'm back. For me, I feel like the only time I can get in my low is when I'm not busy. As I say, I avoid stuff. So when I'm busy and I have stuff to do, when I have time to sit down while I am a star or anything like that. So I don't feel like it's often for me personally. But when it happens, it happens. So wait, when you like when you own... think about stuff about yourself, really yeah, you it. overthink. Yes, and you start, you start, you start oh, to you put everything. yourself in that spot. Yeah. So people don't do that. No, for you, you put yourself. Hey, in that like I'm literally the only person that be stressing me out, overthinking. Yeah, I think about things that I'm not two years and <laughs> just like, Sorry. just like even with my car, mm -hmm. when I got broken in. At first, like I really started not care at all. Like, it shit happens, but I'm like, yes, shit happened, but why did that happen to me? So yeah, that shit just made me end up and just feel down. Even though I don't, the car been fixed the day after. Like everything, most things replaced, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not that serious. But I'm just thinking, I'm like, but why it have to happen to me though? Yeah. Like why? Like why shit I was afraid happen? So like me alone really over mm -hmm. things are. Yeah, because at the end of the day, everything are, you, you already know. So like, everything when nobody tell you, you already know. Okay, you know, so yeah. it should happen. But it's just you doing that to yourself. I wouldn't know how to. I overthink shit, but not stuff like that. You overthink like shit, current shit, are things that should happen when happening. Yeah. Happen yeah. Shit. I'm just like, damn, get that shit down, get that shit down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Or I'm just like, get up off your butt mm -hmm. and do what you gotta do. I know you wanna sleep right now, but keep them eyes open, honey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's important mm -hmm. because yourself in the future is gonna thank your past self when mm -hmm. you actually get up and do what you need to do. Yeah. Trust me. And I feel like that's a battle that you just constantly have. Like this week, you feel like all right, you get on your sheet, you actually start doing what you're supposed to, and then you fall off, and then you fall off. Because then you have to continue. Instead of to yourself, say, oh, may I waste my time? May I waste this? But I'm gonna be better. Like, isn't it a constant thing? Yeah. I want to fix it. You feel like it, it can be fixed. It can be fixed. I personally, I my partner, he, no matter what he's going to his work is going to be done. Don't care. It mm. gotta be done. It's gonna be what is he that person from the get go? This is no, it's, it's not. It's discipline. It's finding your discipline and finding your balance. Um, a lot of businesses just start off rocking. Stop on them, opening them, stop on them, opening them, stop on them, them opening mm. them, stop. Once you find your flow, once you find what it is that makes you, that is like when you do this thing, it's not like stressful or too much or you have to fight yourself to get through it. And it's done easily. It's done not not that easy, but it's done at a pace where just work for you. It flow and it's not like you have fight for fit it in instead of it being your life. That's how she plans to move moving out and living on your own. Why do you want to move out? To move out nice. I'm ready for pay bills. I think this kind of running back up over just a couple. But there are some things you want to change about your life currently for the better. Like what do you think you can do? Change about yourself right now or your life for it to be better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For me personally, what I think would make my life be better is more discipline and less procrastinating. Yeah. Like, like that is literally the thing when we work on every day. Gym. I've been going to gym over a year and I've never been to the gym like two months straight without stopping. Like every we stop every two weeks. Take a two week break, take a month break. Like, my don't consistent. Even with YouTube, I want to be consistent. I just need to stop procrastinating and just do what I need to do. I need to stop being so slow. Like, if I clean the house and them shit, they take me all freaking day. I just need to get them stuff in order. So, my life just feel better. Like, those are my main problems. Discipline, yeah. Discipline, but not too heavy. I don't think how that. There is nothing I really don't currently. Probably to buy a house. Because like, I want me, what I personally, I stop taking like social media so serious. I'm not really into the influencer thing, whatever, whatever. I just I just do social media now. Like, I'm just doing it to do it. You know what I mean? It's just like a fun mm -hmm. thing for me now. So, I don't see it as it's better in my life in any way, right? No, I'm, I'm not referring to social media though. No, I'm YouTube, right? Like no, that's a part of it. You want to go gym and be consistent in gym, but you hear that here from me. I don't really care. If no, no one do gym and get sexy, fine. But you know, really, you know, it's not better me. No, but I feel like, no, I feel like 
that state of people who go to the gym, people who wake up early in the morning, first thing they do is spread them bed. I just feel like them have a, have a better quality of life because they learn discipline. So it's not only just those stuff, it's just overall the approach to everything. If YouTube, if I was thinking YouTube like that, mm -hmm. what I would say is I want YouTube to be that important to me where I get it done. Like how I get other stuff done. Oh, so you want to prioritize YouTube more? You wish, you wish you want if, to prioritize If I thought it would have been a better, better my life. You feel it could like have probably better my life entirely. It could probably better my life still. Could I give me more money? Well, yes. I remember B has for gift of it with after the video. <laughs> but still, anyways, what do you guys see in each other that stands out? That stands out, okay. And bring it's out the best in each other. Best. Okay, I think one thing with Tavo, different from my other friends, I feel like Tavo, Tavo see me for who I am and just accept it and not like keep on asking if it change talk about me. Yeah. So that's a, that's a thing that's really stand out about her. Like, why am I she? <laughs> She's emotionally intelligent, <laughs> but then sometimes she can't dunk something. Especially when you come on to certain people. <laughs> but. <laughs> that's something that stands out. And what bring out to? I just feel like she has a cracked energy and real love. Like, Tavian can make the the saddest situation. Like, you know, feel so sad anymore. Just laugh it or find some kind of joke. Like, something. So I'm really like that. Yeah. People, she must think about the question before. She ever told to think about that so fast. No, I never think about it. I just know. No, no because I am a person that loves to compare. Like, my relationship with different people and why I'm rather this or why I'm feel around this person, I'm feel around that person. So, I know who I'm going to be around more. Like, I literally think about those because I value how me feel and how people in my room feel. So, yeah. Okay, I love our growth. Conversations, mm -hmm. not like oh, I'm not gonna say this because I don't want to tell you. It's just like we we'll just talk. We don't care. We not hold back. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, some people just hold on to certain things and they don't really want to share it. Blah blah blah. It's just we we'll just tell whatever we know. We we'll just tell. So the conversation. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. That's what stands out for me. And then what is what for bring out the best in me? I would say I there is a situation I can't forget, like um when I was pregnant and you were there the whole pregnancy. Like and trying to push me to do to just get up on my ass, even though I was in a depressed depressed state at, in my pregnancy. Not necessarily depressed, but just like pregnancy state. Lazy pregnancy state, not doing anything, not caring about anything. Like, literally don't care that push mm -hmm. to, you know? The last question. Um, in this day and age with social media, social media pressure on how you're supposed to look, how you're supposed to talk, how you're supposed to walk, how you're supposed to wear, how you're supposed to live your life, how you're supposed to have, whatever. With all the pressure there. So when it comes on to an ongoing topic about relationship, marriage, kids, what is your take on it? Like people be like, oh, you should marry before you have a kid or so forth. Be that you already have a child. Like what is your take or how you look at it? Gonna see them post My there. take is mind the business, leave people to live the life they want. And I was having this discussion with my mom and my aunt in the car while I was going to the country the other day. And we were just like, why is it why y'all care so much about other people? You know that oh, you they need everybody in the world, like everybody's important. If somebody don't want to build a house, it's fine. If they want to travel out their money, it's fine. Mm. If they don't want to save for, for, for them kids, it's fine. That's just their, it's, that's not, it's probably not right in your mind. So but that's standard. Yeah, like it's what they or want to do. it should be. If I want to live in an apartment till the day I die, that's what I want to do, honey. If I want to pay rent for the till the day, Probably not make sense, but I don't want to do where I mm. want it. Like, I feel like y'all just need to, not y'all, but y'all need to like mind the business. The one that we try, so I think I'm like, trying to dictate how I should not live my only life. dictate, but they also try to shame people about yeah. how they're living. Yeah, like, about I, think, I think they're crazy. I think they're crazy and they have too much time on their hands to be caring about what somebody else is doing with them. Like, and them and them are not that much. Like that, so. To go even dig into the life, see what's happening, see where they're at, and come and try. Oh, 
I just did share though. She not reached the way. So la, la, la. Well, you went and find out all of that. Just so you could type this comment, honey. Get a life. <laughs> so when you see those posts, like, you know, you make you feel like, oh, yeah, I should have done this that way or no. anything like that. No. You're just like, okay, this is my life and this means yeah. me. Yeah, even like the... Um, if your man is not doing this, leave him. You can leave your man if your man is not doing that. If I know so that my man is not that type of person, mm -hmm. I know what I I know my man from my to start. I said, like, your man don't have to be a certain way. If you are, stop making people force you to be uncomfortable with things you're not uncomfortable with. That's, that's basically TikTok. Yeah, that's stop making you. people force you to do stuff that you don't really care about it's not that important to you because it just makes my life miserable and you have frightful if i fake life when you're like for example the um if you don't want to wake up and if you don't want to wake up and exercise at 6 a.m every freaking morning they don't have to for example the sprinkle sprinkle lady they're like oh if your man not doing this if your man not doing that it's like it's all about money 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 but suppose you're someone that just wants to love marry for love that like you know, I'm, you don't need to fear on down and gonna try to do the tricks and the mind game and the manipulation into marrying a rich man. Or, I think mean, you know what? I think also it's such a con controversial topic. Like everybody having a target audience. There are people out there that actually want that life. And of course. Like, so that's what I do when I see these things. I just see and scroll because probably somebody out there wants to desire because it's that kind of life they want and they want this advice, this type of advice that they want. Mm -hmm. So I take. I don't know if you take what the internet take what's for you off the internet. Not everything on the internet is for you are directed to you. So overall, I don't like uh, I don't like the conversation on relationship. Like oh, a relationship should be. Yeah. I always just scroll because I don't even if you subconsciously you're not agree, mm -hmm. but it's always in the back of your mind subconsciously. Exactly. Like, oh, so if this happened, that happened, just like scroll. and they start playing you know, on your relationship in a way and start battling you and you know, so start thinking about it. Like, exactly. Like, I don't need to hear what you have to say, but... So that wraps it up for today's Girl Talk. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. What's your opinion on anything we say? And be, be bear in mind. Be kind. These and are these are opinions. our opinions. Yes. We're not saying you should do this that way, or you should live that way, or anything like that. This is just our opinion. Or how you should think, or whatever. But this is just our, our vibes. What works for us. What we think. Tea is. <laughs> right. So, let's see you in the next girls chat bye bye thanks bye. for having me <laughs>